Hello everybody and welcome to my DEFCON 1 festival guide. In this video I'll tell you everything you need to know about DEFCON. So there's a lot of information about DEFCON and there's a lot of information on my website as well. So in this video I'm going to sum that all up so you have everything you need to know. If you still have questions after leave them in the comments or check their FAQ. Most of this information I got from there. Also I have such bad hay fever and I just want to like poke my eyes out and scratch my throat it's like so bad this year even gunter my little baby has a fever poor ki poor kitty uh so yeah there's that if i if you see me like well that's why the cat hairs don't help <laughs> anyways let's talk about defcon so defcon this year is four days just as last year um i actually really enjoyed that it starts at 20 second the 22nd of june and it's still the 25th of june also i just went to the gym so i'll be drinking this mm. I used to drink the um, gun is like, yes, <laughs> stepping over you. I used to drink the powders from Y Food at Home. I still do, but now they got these fruity flavors and I'm obsessed with them. They they remind me of Yoki. You remember Yoki from like when you were a kid? I, I assume Dutch people do. I don't know if this is a universal thing, but they're, they're so good. Mm. I'll tell you a, a little bit more about this uh later because these are so handy to bring as well also check the description if you want to there is a lot of information there as well i'm leaving my packing list there there's a discount code for among others y food and then i youtube for this one but there's more information there and also i have a general festival guide so if you're interested in all that you can find it there but for now let's get into this i do have a little cheat list here because there's so much information let's talk about tickets first so there's multiple kinds of tickets the weekend tickets for four days are sold out there's still friday tickets left uh, the saturday and sunday tickets separate so saturday tickets and sunday tickets are sold out too the premium weekend tickets for four days are sold out as well there's still premium friday tickets premium saturday tickets are sold out and premium sunday tickets are sold out as well and every ticket is available in combination with like any travel and stay uh, packages they have and also you can get add-ons like lockers uh, parking and shuttle buses stuff like that you can also get that while you're at the festival but that's usually more expensive than do it beforehand so if you want to buy tickets that are already sold out like you want a weekend ticket or anything like that please only do it through ticket swap ticket swap is the best way to actually do this and it's also the safest way to do this um, you can't really trust people on the internet as you should know by now but ticket swap is a really safe way to sell and buy tickets so check that out if you want to go for that so I got some DMs asking if you need like separate camping tickets on top of your weekend tickets. No, a weekend ticket includes everything. So your Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday access and then also your campsite access. So let's talk about the check-in times for the campsite. On Thursday you can check in from 12, Friday all day and night, Saturday all night, all day and all night, Sunday all day and night and Monday check out before 12. Which is actually good. A lot of festivals have like pretty strict check in and check out times defcon doesn't seem to have, have that so there are some ways to make your camping a little bit more luxury there's different accommodations as usual but there's also like certain spots like the sanctuary and the highlands where you can camp i'll leave that info down below if you're interested in that but you can find it in the faq about the campsite so let's talk about travel and i'm going to read this to you because it's quite a lot of stuff to explain so if you're coming by car Priority weekend parking cards are parking spaces directly at the entrance of the campsite. So a more favorable location and not so far away by walking to the festival. So if you get a priority weekend ticket or like parking ticket, you can park closer to the festival. You will also camp at campsite zero. If you do not want to camp at campsite zero, you can also continue walking to the other camping ground. So campsite zero is the camping where I stayed last time. If you remember that, it's pretty close to like entering the festival grounds is close to the parking it's really nice honestly so if you have a regular parking ticket keep in mind it's quite a walk i think it's like i think for me i parked at uh, the normal parking last time even though i was at campsite zero because i needed the crew entrance which was on that side i think it was a 30 minute walk total which is honestly not that bad but keep in mind you do have to like bring all your stuff so bring something like a cart or something too easy like carry your stuff i can imagine camping for four days to bring in quite a lot of stuff so uh, make sure it's easy to carry so let's talk about public transport i know a lot of people are coming by public transport there's multiple transfers that are shown on the website i'm gonna read it to you and explain the best i can the transfers shown in your travel and stay package are the private transfers from schiphol airport 
bus transfers return from Schiphol Airport, Central Station Amsterdam or Central Station Utrecht daily shuttle buses and daily transfers. The trends are shown at the organized bus transport. Dutch bus are transferred from different places in the Netherlands. These buses are available on different days. Please pay attention to which arrive on the departure day you select. Transfer shown at the organized bus transport. International buses are buses from different countries. These buses are available on different days. Please pay attention to which arrival and departure day you select. Shuttle bus Dronten to DEFCON 1. The shuttle bus is only available for those in possession of a DEFCON 1 ticket. This is a shuttle bus ticket for transfer between Dronten train station and the festival site. To sum this up, you have different kinds of transfers. You got public transfers for one to three persons or from four to seven persons. There's transfers from Schiphol Airport, transfers from Central Station Amsterdam, Central Station Utrecht and daily shuttle buses. So whatever you need or prefer, you can book from there. There's also transfers from different countries, which is really cool actually. Uh, and then there's also shuttle buses from Drontown, which is the closest uh, station to DEFCON. So the shuttle bus, so the one from Drontown to DEFCON 1, uh, on Thursday it goes between 10 in the morning and 8 in the evening. On Friday it's 8 in the morning till 2 midday, so like 14 o'clock. Uh, and then Sunday, the other way around, so from DEFCON to Drontown, it goes from 7 in the evening to 11 in the evening. And Monday it goes from 9 in the morning till 3 midday, so 15 o'clock. I get that this can be a bit confusing, Look properly at where you want to go from and what time you want to book uh, and I think you should be alright. So let's talk about food and drinks. So of course you can bring your own food and drinks to the campsite. I would always recommend doing this as well because it's just a lot less expensive. You're already camping for four days, obviously you gotta probably buy food. Uh, but if you bring your own food, especially for breakfast and stuff, that's just gonna save you a lot of money. I know that not everyone is like great at eating at these festivals. I myself am sober, so I eat quite a lot at festivals, but I do understand the situation. I would still recommend, in the very least, you eat proper breakfast, because you are going to be there four days. It's probably going to be very warm. You need like some sustenance in your body. So for drinks, you can bring a maximum of 4.5 liters per person of soft drinks and drinks that contain less than 14.5% alcohol. In my experience, they don't check this like on the, on the liter. They don't, you can just not bring like a ton of drinks. Uh, but that's what it says on the website. I would really recommend Y food, as I said. Uh, they have taste effects too. Wait, let me show that. Oh, if you don't want to get like one flavor or whatever, you can order a taste effect. As I said, it's called Alena YouTube. These fill you up really well. Uh, they skip you full for a few hours. So if you don't want to like carry around a lot of food, this is great. They also have like the, the bars which are good too. They also have powders, so if you want to make your own drink, you can just bring these. Uh, if you get like a taste bag, they just have like the small bags, whoop, which are these, and you can mix them with water. So just bring a bottle, bring these, mix it with water, and you have food and a drink in one. As I said, they fill you up really well, so that's great. I would really recommend either getting a taste pack or just the new fruity flavors. These, as I said, are so good. They fill you up for like four to five hours. I have to say the food at DEF CON is good. Also keep in mind that at the festival grounds, it's usually more expensive than buy at the campsite. And since DEF CON is so big, it's kind of hard to uh, just walk back to just go for a quick bite, you know. It's, it's pretty big, so by the time you're back to your tent or whatever. So I would really recommend eating really well before you go to the festival. Uh, I would recommend bringing these uh, or these or some of the bars, uh, it really helps. I do have to say DEFCON often has a lot of options when it comes to food, especially on the Wasted Lands, which is like the area and the campsite where you can get food and party and everything. Uh, so that's really good also for vegans, also for people with allergies. So that is great. But yeah, recommend Y food or at least bring in your own stuff. Uh, what I also do, because of course you can only bring 4.5 liters, is I bring a few of these and then I just rinse them out and use them as a water bottle. It works. Of course, talking about drinks, there's also a recycle system. It is normal in the Netherlands now. I actually like it. I know not everybody agrees with me, but you get a little token uh, when you enter the festival. And if you get a drink, you have to either give the token or give a piece of plastic back, else your drink is more expensive. That's basically it. And it keeps the floors really clean, like the festivals 
are so much cleaner 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 since we did this um, so I'm actually really happy with it is it a perfect system no is it a step in the right direction absolutely and I love to see how clean everything is and now they can recycle everything properly so that's really good as well if everything just lands on the floor they can't really recycle it properly because it all like gets stuck together with ground and with carton and everything and all shit so that really really works I think I like it so what about the rest of the campsite? There's not a lot of information about the camping at all on the website. Uh, I've been there a few times though, so we're gonna talk about it. First of all, remember, DEF CON is big. There are six campsites, if I'm saying that right, maybe seven if you count campsite zero. Um, it's massive, as I said, it's at least a half an hour walk from one way to the other. It was last year, and then you're not even on the festival grounds yet. There are multiple places to, like, enter the festival grounds also the bridge they have that you need to like go over at defcon they made that way 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 better than it was in the past like last year was the first time we saw the new bridge way better so at least that's something also if you don't know what to bring as i said there is a general festival guide down there and a packing list so you can check it out also please keep an eye on the weather it can be so different in the netherlands right now it's 30 fucking degrees outside um, let's hope it stays that way. I'd rather have 30 degrees than rain, but you know, usually around 20 to 25 is perfect for festivals. So let's hope DEFCON does it well this year. Uh, but yeah, definitely do take a good look at the weather. Uh, bring something warm. You can rather bring too much than too little. Bring something warm and please, please, please use sun cream. Even if you're like, oh, I tan quickly, I don't sunburn. Please just wear it to be sure. I saw so many sunburned people at Intense. And me with my ginger fucking skin, I this is like the fucking tannest I get. I just get freckles. I didn't sunburn at all. Only a little bit here because I use sunscreen. It helps. So on the campsite you have what's called the Wasted Lens. I mentioned it shortly earlier in this video. Uh, but the Wasted Lens is basically like a big central space where everything at the campsite is at defcon uh, not everything they have like showers and toilets like spread out to the festival but the wastelands is where the after parties are where the pre-parties are where the activities are where you can eat where you can drink so that's like one central station and it's also like connected to the actual festival grounds it's always really fun there <laughs> i really like the wasted lands let's talk about facilities i couldn't find anything about this on the website so i'm gonna talk about how it was last year I'm not saying it's 100% accurate for this year because obviously it's possible that they changed a few things. Uh, for toilets, often it was quite a walk last year and they were quite dirty. So hopefully it's better this year, but that's my experience so far at the DEF CON campsite. Sem <laughs> uh, the showers, in my experience, are pretty okay at DEF CON. Uh, I usually go at night to avoid crowds and usually at night they're actually warm. Maybe I shouldn't say this because now you're all gonna shower at night. Um, and you can get tokens and everything at the Wasted Lands. So also do that at night to avoid crowds. That's like do everything during the night and avoid crowd crowds. There's also multiple places to get sunscreen. Definitely at the Wasted Lands, maybe some spread out this year as well. I'm not sure. Last year, there weren't really any water tap points except for at the toilets. As I said, you can just refill your bottles with the water at the toilets. It is drink water. Don't be fooled if it says no drinking water. We're in the Netherlands. You can, you can drink the fucking water. There's also very little electricity points at DEF CON. So bring an extra charger, like portable charger. You can obviously charge. There's electricity at the showers, but that's like everybody is using that. So I would suggest really getting like either a big portable charger or a smaller one. I know a lot of people don't use their phones that much at festivals. Um, but still, it really sucks if your phone is empty and you're trying to find your friends or whatever. So bring an extra charger, especially four days. Like, that's a long time for a phone. So that's pretty much it about the campsite. I would really suggest you explore it. Like, DEFCON is four days. You have all the time to explore the campsite. And the Wasted Lands are always really fun. Definitely check out all the activities there. I'm sure there's going to be more information about that um, once everything is, like, online. But yeah, I always really enjoy it and the after parties are really good. Okay, so let's dive into this timetable. I got my laptop for this because I usually wear glasses and I'm kind of blind and I'm not wearing them now because they reflect weird in the camera and also because my face itches. But I'm gonna go over all the special sets and everything going on. If you want to see the timetable, I'll leave a link down below, but I also will put them here. Uh, but that it's, it's a lot, so it's probably hard to read when I put them here. The party starts at two 
on the Wasted Lands with a pre-party. And also at the entrance gate, there's also DJs playing, which is always really fun. So he, by the time you get, get to the entrance, there's already music and everything. Uh, so you can check those out. It starts at 2 and they are till 5.30. Then on the festival grounds, they open at 6. Five stages are open. We have the Gathering on the Blue. We have Celtic with the Compass there. We have Demo Wild with the Inner Game. Uh, then the Gathering, Bromo, Last Man Standing. Actually, a French Familia set on that as well. Really fun. And then the Indigo is hosted by Apex Presents the Brotherhood, uh, which is really fun as well. Of course, we have the Big Chill. I would recommend checking out the Big Chill, especially on the other days. Often there's artists playing there. There's, like artists from our scene that are playing like different styles on the Big Chill. That's always really fun. Um, so check that out as well. And if you want to chill in between, just go there. It's really nice. Uh, then the Magenta. Magenta, I don't know how to say it in English, it sounds weird. Um, magenta, I think. Uh, it's actually open from 6 till 2 in the morning. So the other ones are till 11, except for the blue, which is still 10.45. There may be a little off to show, like little end show there. I don't, I'm not sure, it doesn't say so, but since we have 15 minutes there of nothing, who knows. Uh, the Magenta is a silent disco, but it does go on till two and then we have an after party well actually three after parties on the wasted lands uh that start at 11 till three they are all silent discos but i would recommend checking them out one of them is by gecko dude stoic and coerce if i'm saying that right which is like a funky cat thing which i love it's so much fun so yes that's, that's like the special things going on on thursday let's go to friday so friday the festival grounds have 11 stages so let me dive into this so the festival grounds open at 11 and they stay open till 11 so that's 12 hours of partying i'm just gonna go by stage as i said i'm just gonna mention like the special sets on each stage uh but check out the full timetable if you want to i do recommend downloading an app like epic where you can click the artist that you want to see and get a notification if you've never been to defcon before the stages are color coded, which once you get used to it, is actually really, really easy. They do, however, change colors on multiple, like on different days. So that's sort of confusing, but I believe the Friday and the Saturday are the same. And then Sunday, because Sunday is Sunday fun day, it changes around. So let's start with the red on Friday. So of course, there's an opening ceremony again at one o'clock with Future Noise. Last time Sefa did it, it was so much fun. I really enjoyed it. So high expectations for Future Noise as well. Then Atmospheres is doing the reawakening and we have a spotlight by Rebellion. So this timetable you can see it like it looks pretty cool and it's easy to scroll through but some of the names are kind of cut off uh, which is annoying. Again I do recommend downloading an app like Epic. For example it says Vesto presents baseline but we all know that Skara and Vesto present baseline breakers and then Invector presents electronic exurbance. I don't think I can zoom it in either. Maybe that's just me failing. And then it's Endrex presents neon something, which from the word presents, I'm assuming it's two artists because else it's presents. So there's some stuff going on there. I'm sorry that I can't say that properly. Then on the black, which is hardcore. So blue is raw, black is hardcore. We have hardcore confessions with audio frag. Um, and other than that, we don't really have special sets except for the spotlight with Angervis, but there's some cool versus sets going on there, so that's nice. So the UV is really cool as well. We have the Hardstyle Pianist playing, we have Primeshack Presents Shockwork, we have Bill X Presents the Rave Music Live Show. Uh, there's GPF on there with like a fucking name that I can't read right now. <laughs> then we have the Magenta, which is the classics. It's always really fun as well. And then we have the Indigo, which is the extra roll. The Green, uh, Gecko is opening that. The green is more of an industrial and different like techno and all those kinds of music, I believe. I'm not so familiar with the names on there, I'm gonna be honest. So then we have the yellow, which is Frenchcore and uptempo mostly. Uh, actually, the Satan is on there, so we have some industrial on there as well. Then we have the gold, which is like the early hardcore. And then orange. I'm not sure what orange is new. I believe or I've just never seen it I'm not sure what our orange is I'm not familiar with these names but it's really cool and then of course we have the big chill uh, Alphas is playing there I would suggest you check that out that's all I'm gonna say about that and of course we have some after parties again which start immediately after the festival so the festival is still 11 and the, the afters uh, start most of them start at 11 to I say most of them because there's five so on the blue we have a gearbox hosting that actually starts at 12 
and it's still one. Uh, then we have the magenta, which starts at 11 till uh, one as well, which is Doc Raver, Hans Glock, like artists like that. We have a after party on the silver, which is a hosting by Funky Cat. Love it. And then actually we have Dick Kebab invites on the Wasted Lands and 30 Years of Rob G on the Wasted Lands and then also uh, some techno it looks like on the Wasted Lands. So that's all really cool. Uh, the Gearbox hosting doesn't seem like a silent disco, the other ones are. Okay, so let's move on to Saturday. So once again, 11 stages, it opens at 11 and it's still 11 as well. So we start again on the red, which opens at 12 actually. Uh, and of course on the red, like the main thing on Saturday is Power Hour. I really like Power Hour. I think it's so much fun. And also Gecko is doing a daybreak session again after Power Hour. So if you just want to relax and chill after Power Hour, I would check that out. I would just stay. Uh, that's so much fun. And then of course we have a proper end show on Saturday. So let's move on to the blue, which is still raw style on Saturday. Uh, we have a lot of stuff going on there. Special sets, The Purge presents stripping. Also I'm saying special sets, these are like live sets and stuff, uh, but I assume every, everyone is doing something special. Obviously it's DEF CON, everyone's coming out with new music. Uh, the black is still hardcore on Saturday. We have 30 years of hardcore with Roughneck. And on the UV we start out with the Warrior Workout. Also Kuhn presents a new decade. I feel like there's a lot of like, this year, it's a lot of like, uh, this one presents 30 years and this presents 25 years. I feel like it's a year that everyone is like, celebrating stuff, which is, I, I like it. Uh, Adrenalize presents Toxic. Something I assume it's cut off. I'm sorry for that. And Zatox presents Italian heart style. If there's a better timetable out there, let me know. I like how this works, but it's just sad that some stuff is cut off. Then we have the Magenta again with some classics. Always recommend DJ Terra and Gecko. I love it. Vicente, one more time is going on. And then we have Deepak and Luna together. The Donkey Rollers are playing live. All good stuff. Indigo is once again extra raw. Uh, D Attack presents Project Attack. We have Savage Squad doing it all together. So I just Griever, Omnia, Play and The Purge together. Also Cruelty and Elements are closing that stage together. You can find me there. I'm pretty sure that's, it's uh, fucking good. It's so fucking good. Okay, Yellow, uh, that sounded awful, sorry. Yellow is once again French core and up tempo. So you know it's going to be busy there. Imperial is doing Mayhem Live. There's an offensive Rage Live show with Cryogenic, Soul Blast and, and Abaddon. I always want to say Abandon, I'm sorry. Uh, Abaddon. <laughs> I don't know why that's bad of me. So the gold is once again early hardcore. Then we have the purple. Also the purple is like a smaller stage with some upcoming talents. And then we have the silver which starts with speed coordinating with Akira which I was there last year. It was really really fun. Most of the days like industrial terror and like the, the more dark sides of the hardcore which is weird to say because hardcore is kind of dark anyway but and of course like every day we have the big chill as well so once again there's five after parties on saturday in the blue this time you have rough recruit recruits <laughs> rough recruits presents rough style that's hard to say that starts at oh 11 30 i think the gearbox one is also 11 30 i think i said 12 till 1 and then you have four other after parties that are silent discos. Once again, Gecko is playing on the Magenta one. We have Manifest Destiny, Rosa, Luna Corpse, and Aradia. I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing that right. Uh, on the Silver. And then we have three more on the Wasted Lands, which also look really, really fun. So let's move on to the fucking final day. I mean, I love that there's so much to do, but it's a hassle for videos like this. So on Sunday, things switch around a little bit. So the names of these stages stay the same. So black is still hardcore. It's just in a different place. I think it's fun. It's also a little bit confusing. I'm just gonna go over the timetable for this as well, but I recommend for Sunday to look properly at the map to see where you need to be. So on the red, we have the closing ceremony, which starts at eight, Defcon Legends. Then we have DJ The Prophet, from the heart, the final, and then the closing ritual. Then the rest of the stages pretty much either open at 11 or 12, but some of them close at eight as well. So we have the blue once again. Uh, not sure what stage is going to be, but we'll see, we'll see. Uh, so this time we have Cronus presents Kryptonite, Gus for Highest, Baddest on the Block. Uh, and this stage is actually open till 11. Uh, Sick Mode is closing it. So then the black, which closes at eight, uh, Peacock is actually closing that stage. Uh, we have Fantastic Four with Panic, Vince, The Fiber, and Dark Raver. And it actually opens with an open airbed concert with uh, GDX. 
Do I pronounce that right? I always say JDX, but I'm not sure if that's the way I pronounce it. Then we have the UV, which is powered by Desperados, I think. Yes. So this is more of a random stage this time. The Kryen are doing a RAF set, which is fun, but there's like a lot of like face DJ, like um, outsiders, Pep B, Mark with a K. You get, you get the vibe. Dr. Root is playing, your brewer is doing a forever experience. Uh, this stage is also open to 11 and it closes off with Paul Elstock. Then we have the Magenta, of course, Classics, Lip DJ presents World of Hearthstyle and Villain and Deviate presents The Legacy and then also a lot of other cool sets. Sunny is actually closing that with Sunny 25 years, which this stage is also open till 8. Then we have the Indigo, which is once again extra raw. Strikers presents Jackpot Point one. I think that's how you pronounce it. Neros is doing an album showcase uh, and we also have the Spoon Technicians closing the stage. Once again, this is open till 8. Then we have the yellow, one of the stages that is open till 10. The only stage I think that's open till 10. Um, so you can go there if you want to like have some more hard music. Once again, it's up tempo, it's French core. So then we move on to the gold, which is early hardcore. Uh, Ophidian and the outside agency are closing that off. It's till eight as well. The rest of the stages are all till eight, by the way. Uh, we have the purple, we have the silver, and then we have the big chill. So one stage I haven't mentioned yet, obviously because it was not on the timetable, is Sefa's stage. So if you didn't get the news, Sefa has his own stage where he's doing hour-long shows. I believe he's doing 20 of them throughout the whole weekend. I may got that number wrong. But I'm really excited for him. If you're interested in that, please check it out. Um, and that's everything about all the stages and the timetable. I hope it was a little bit clear. I feel like I tried. <laughs> it's a lot. As I said, download any app that you're comfortable with. Or make a little Excel sheet. I know a lot of people are doing that and it sounds insane, but you can actually put them, if you make an Excel sheet per day, you can put them on the background of your phone, which is really helpful, actually. I may, I may need to do that. Um, so, some other news. Before I close this off, I know this was very, very long. I'm sorry. Um, I'm going to DEFCON, obviously, four days. I'm not going to be vlogging there this year, which on one hand is sad, but I'm very excited to announce that I'll be part of the official media team of DEF CON this year. So I'll be shooting content for them, which is honestly a dream come true. You know, this year, well, the past two years, I've been working more and more with and for festivals and artists, and I love it. It feels like the right direction for my career, and I'm really excited to do it at DEF CON. So I will obviously be posting about DEF CON stories, TikToks and also YouTube shorts. I may do mini vlogs like I did for Harmony of Hardcore when I was working there. But yeah, I'm really, really excited for it. So um, yeah, I want to wish you all an amazing DEF CON and I'll see you guys there. Like and subscribe. Also, that does not mean I'm not vlogging ever again, obviously. I am going to drop zone six days in Croatia. Going to be freaking amazing. Pool parties, boat parties, everything. Um, so I'll be vlogging that. One big vlog about that coming. I think I'm just going to do one about six days, which is going to be insane. My battery died. Um, but yeah, drop zone going to be insane. And then I'm also going to Tomorrowland. Two days, Saturday and Sunday of the first weekend. Because Friday I'm working at Perucaville. Peruca so yeah, I'll also be vlogging about Tomorrowland. Doing two vlogs about that. So those are the upcoming ones. But Forbidden Island is coming and so much more. So yeah, really excited for that. Anyways, check out everything below. I hope this was useful. And sorry for the long video. I'll try to make it less long in the edit. Wish me luck. I'll see you guys at DEFCON. Bye. Like and subscribe.